Hello. Nigel Farage needs to give his head a wobble if he believes the Tories will form some electoral pact with the Brexit party to head off Bolshe Trotsky Corbyn's Labour Party. You must be mad, Nigel. Literally mad, as Enoch Powell once said, if you believe that was ever going to happen. I was only saying to veteran nationalists here in Liverpool two weeks ago that Nigel Farage must be delusional if he believes the Tories are going to form some electoral pact with him to head off Bolshe Trotsky Corbyn's Labour Party. I, w I was flabbergasted, Nigel, that the penny still hasn't dropped. I hope it has now. You see, Nigel, this is what's happened. You're no longer part of the establishment. You're not in the little club, are you? You've stepped outside the club, right? You want change, reform and what's best for Britain. Those swines, all of them live labcon. They want what's bad for Britain. You see, the so-called Tory patriots, little Englanders, bogus patriots, right? They all suffer from the same mental illness those in the Lib Dems and Labour do, and it's called white guilt, self-hate. They hate this country. They hate its past, its great heroes, our empire. They, they hate the empire. They hate everything, these swines, and they want to bury the old Britain and usher uh, in the new liberal brave new world that we're seeing unfolding now so once you understand Nigel right other than their differences on economics say Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn other than that they're all in the same club they all want the liberal brave new world of course they do right and all greatness of the past has to be eradicated I cannot believe you really thought Boris Johnson was going to form some electoral pact with the Brexit party to keep Bolshe Trotsky, uh, Corbyn's Labour out? They'd rather let Corbyn in than side with you, right? You see, those affected with this mental illness, this liberalism, because there is a mental illness, without a doubt, to betray your country the way they do, right? You, you've, there's got to be something wrong with you, if you ask me, right? This liberalism, it's like a form of mental illness, like I've said, they are all suffering from it when not they're in the Tory party, Labour or Lib Dems. There's a few renegades in the Tory party, but not many. Jacob rees is another one, he's in the club, right? All of them are. And you're now uh, beginning to understand this now, Nigel, that the Tories are not to be trusted. Book there by the late great Ian Smith, The Great Betrayal. Brilliant book, I've read it about five times. Right, neither for all you need to buy it, you need to read it, right? In the book, Ian Smith thought that there was going to be a different, um, a different approach, if that's the word, uh, towards uh, white Rhodesia when Margaret Thatcher was elected uh, to number 10 in May 1979. He believed there'd be a different attitude, that's the word, attitude. There'd be a different attitude now towards white Rhodesia, but he was told by his closest age not to trust the Tories, and in particular, the then uh, new Foreign Secretary, Peter Carrington, later uh, Lord Carrington. He was told not to trust this horrible, treacherous man, and he dismissed it. Later on in the book, Ian Smith describes Lord Carrington as the most evil man he'd ever met. Like I've said, Nigel, to do what these swines are doing, you've got to be evil, right? You've got to be suffering some, from some sort of psychosis, some mental illness, to betray your own country, to want to destroy it, because that's what they want to do. They want to destroy our past, our history, all our great leaders, our empire. They want to denigrate that more and more and make us uh, more... Uh, uh, suffering from white guilt and self-hate you want is riddled with that right asking for forgiveness these are the type of people in the Tory party they're no different than Corbyn they're no different than those in the Lib Dems they all suffer from this liberalism and it's a mental illness if you ask me so once you understand Nigel what these people suffer from and what they really want for Britain then you see how ludicrous it was to believe 
you could form some electoral pact with the Tory party. Unbelievable. I can't believe it now, but I think the penny's dropping. Also, Nigel, with you stepping outside of the box now, outside of the arena, the establishment club, you're now the enemy, right? You want change, reform on what's best for Britain. And also, Nigel, you're being pushed, whether or not you like it or not, more and more over to our side, aren't you? Yeah, well, of course you are. Keep coming, keep coming by all means. Whether or not you like it or not, you will be pushed further and further over to our side. And that can only be good for yourself, the Brexit Party, and what's good for Britain. And our people, our people will get behind you. you just got to do it right this time. We fucked up in the past, right? You can do it right. So... To believe, Nigel, you could ever have formed an electoral pact with the Tories to head off Trotsky, Bolshe, Corbyn's Labour Party. Delusional, mate. Literally delusional. All of them are treacherous swines. At least with the Labour and Trotsky, Bolshe, Corbyn, you know where you stand, right? We know they suffer from white guilt and the full of all this nonsense, right? We know that, right? We know that. But it stops at the daughter's bedroom door, though, doesn't it? But anyway, uh, so, you know, you know where you stand with the left, right? But with these so-called Tory patriots, little Englanders, right? You don't because they're treacherous, they're deceitful. And like the late great Ian Smith said in his book, people were telling him not to trust Margaret Thatcher and the Tories, and in particular, Lord Carrington, and he dismissed it. Obviously, later on, he found out, you know how right those aides next to him were in warning him against these people. They suffer from this illness called liberalism. They want to destroy Britain, Nigel. And once you start understanding that, you won't go wrong. Okay, thank you.